In 2016, Belgrade is captured by an intense cold. The streets around the railway station are full of people in the fancy of city life. A few dozen meters away, behind the central railway station, lies another reality. That of the barracks, the illegal camp of refugees, trying to reach the border with Hungary. They live among rubbish and rubble, in the dark, without light, without bath, no kitchens. The living conditions are at the limit of the human. Some of them show signs of wounds during attempts to cross the border with Hungary. The temperature below zero forced them to make fires to warm up. Fire is fueled by anything, plastic, rubber, waste, causing damage to breathing and health in general. Some have chosen to live in the old wagons, but here the cold is even more intense than in the warehouses. People wash themselves outdoors with temperature below zero, with water heated with beans or bottles placed near the fire. Despite the cold, gestures are accurate and natural, habit of a lost daily life. Some volunteers provide hot meals daily. The queues are very long. Some don't look up from the ground, wrapped in blankets. They are just over a thousand, most of them Afghani and Pakistani men and boys. People blocked in Serbia cannot go back and cannot go on. Equally long are the queues to get the clothes and the shoes. Always too wide or too narrow. They gather in front of the fire to smoke and talk about families, their dreams, their fears. Volunteers also try to offer, above all, dignity, comfort, socialization with their presence, with a word or moments of aggregation. demolished by the bulldozers in May 2016 to make room for gentrification and asylum seekers transferred to official camps far from the city and again invisible.